So here's everything you'll need to prepare your banana pudding cream pie. Enjoy! First, we're going to add our sweetened condensed milk to the bowl. Make sure you pour it all out. You may have to scrape it with the spoon just to get it out. That's how thick it is. Now I'm going to get the jello pudding mix and pour it into the bowl with the sweetened condensed milk. Once this is done, it's time to whisk. If you want to use a hand mixer, feel free. I couldn't find mine, so I'm whisking away. La 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 la. Yeah, so make sure you get everything around the side. You want all of that dry mix in there and make it wet. Get it wet. Next, we need two teaspoons, but I couldn't find mine, so I used a half and I put it in four times. Vanilla. So now we're going to whisk the vanilla up. So let's get to whisking. Are y'all having fun yet? I am. Hey, you can't go anywhere. Time to make these no bake, easy bake pies, right? So now we're gonna add the whipped cream, three cups. Of course, this is two cups here. So what I'm gonna do is use one eight ounce tub and then a third of the other eight ounce tub. And there you have three cups. And then we're gonna whisk again. So y'all, this is the third cup that I was telling you about. Y'all ready? Let's go. <laughs> Shout out to my girl KC Connection. Now for this part, we're not going to use this whisk. We're going to actually use the big spatula and we're going to fold the whipped cream into the pudding because we don't want it to be mushy. We want to keep it as fluffy as possible. I also want to give a shout out to Cooking with Kiana. That's Casey Connection's daughter. She is doing her thing over there on her new channel. Check her out. Y'all don't laugh. My arm got tired for a second. Okay, we're back. Why is your child laughing at me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're going to sit this aside. We're gonna grab our bananas because it's time to get to cutting because this is what we came here for, right? Let's get it. Let's go. So this stuff right here, I was taking it off because I didn't want that in my pie. Your choice, but I don't like it. So now I'm gonna cut up the bananas and then I'm going to put them in the bowl. So now I have the bananas, I'm gonna put them in the bowl with the pudding and the whipped cream, and then I'm going to fold it all together. I'm not gonna mix it, I'm gonna fold it because we don't wanna mush the bananas up. So I hope you guys try this recipe, I really do. It's a great, quick, easy recipe. Something you could do with the kids. Let them have fun, y'all. So this is the second banana. I'm only doing half of it because I wanna eat the other half myself. <laughs> and then I'm going to put it in a bowl and I'm going to fold it in just like I did the first batch.
So now we're going to set this bowl aside because it's time to get our pie shell. We are almost at the end, y'all. So let's get this open and let's get this filling in. Stick with me. Don't go anywhere. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, comment down below, turn on your post notifications, and let a girl know. Do you want to see more videos like this? I hope so. Okay, y'all, we at the home stretch. Now we're going to put our vanilla wafers in. I got the small ones, the mini ones. Um... I wasn't originally going to do that. It just came to me and I said, you know what? Let's double up this thing because this is a deep shell crush, y'all. That means I can fit all that filling into this one pie shell. Y'all ready? I'm so hungry. So now it's time for the star of the show, y'all. So um, we're going to get all of this filling into this deep crust and prove that I can fit all of this into this pie shell, okay? By the way, if you have a smaller pie shell, you might just want to use the one eight ounce tub and not, you know, what I did. Now that you have your filling in, just spread it around, make it as smooth as you can. I didn't want to flatten it all the way down because I, I want it to look fluffy. That's why I did all the folding. I wanted it to be fluffy and I wanted it to be thick, y'all. And I'm telling you, wait till you see this pie. But I'm not done. I have one more step before I put it in the refrigerator. So what's a banana? pudding cream pie without some more vanilla wafers on top right that's how you make the original banana pudding so i said hey let's put them on let's make it look cute before we destroy this thing <laughs> there at the finish line so last but not least let's put a little bit of whipped cream in the center and top it with a couple of vanilla wafers So y'all, this is like the final step and I am so happy. I am so, this pie turned out so good. Oh my God. I have to give y'all a closer look. Y'all, get you some. First bite. So now we're just going to put the lid on. It almost didn't want to go on. So now you're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it stay there for about six to seven hours. Let it thicken. Let it set. Six hours later. <laughs> I know y'all hear these kids in the background. They were in their room, but they knew what I was doing. So everybody came downstairs and they were in there playing around. Y'all see my water over there in the background. I'm stocked, y'all, okay? I'm good over here. But let's get back to the pie. Mm -mm. she looks so good y'all I'm ready to cut her up 
I'm ready to cut her up. This banana pudding cream pie is so smooth. That crunch at the bottom with the cookies and the graham, oh my goodness, y'all. Wait till you see this pie. Look at her. Mm, mm, mm. I can only take like a bite to taste it because I'm not eating it. But I wanted to do this pie. And of course, you know my kids, they're going to eat this pie up. Look at the whole bananas in there that I, the slices that I put in there, they're not mushy. I don't like a mushy banana pudding. I don't really eat banana pudding, but I'm telling you, that is why you fold it, not stir it. It's so good, y'all. So good. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, excuse the kids. It's real life over here. They're out of school. You know, then they're bothering each other, waiting on this pie. <laughs> Y'all look at it. Oh my God, it's so good. Let me just take a little bite and see what it tastes like. Oh, I'm tasting it all over again, y'all. Oh my gosh. I wanted to eat that whole pie. Oh. I'm gonna have to make this for my husband, definitely. This pie looks so good, and it was so good. Thank y'all so much. Come back. Share me out, y'all. Share me out. And don't forget to subscribe. Smooches.